how to create then uh, uh, you can always uh, create resources for e content for various other various uh, you know initiatives that are there am i audible yes madam okay yes ma'am sure so uh, let us start i'll just share my screen and then Can you see my screen, the presentation? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, okay. yes, yes ma'am. Ma so uh, let us start. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, this is as I told you, uh, this is not just creation of e-content, but I am uh, basically uh, I will be more interested in uh, sharing uh, the presentation or talking with you or discussing with you the integration of, of ICT into teaching learning and uh, and and also and then creation of e-content. And uh, particular uh, with special reference to social sciences. So uh, before uh, you know understanding or before going into the detail of why do we uh, want why do we require uh, creation of e-content, we just need to understand uh, that uh, few things, few questions, the four questions that are very important to understand that uh, wh what, why, for whom, and how. So these are the four, four questions which I always say are very important to ponder upon, to think about that uh, for the integration of ICT into any subject, maybe uh, it can be social sciences, it can be sciences, it can be mathematics, literature, any 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 field. So these uh, four questions are very important to understand. person who is trying to integrate ICT into teaching learning uh, or creation of e-content, so first is what, what means, what is the purpose of, you know, uh, what is the purpose of creation or integration of uh, ICT to teaching learning? So, and what are the topics to be covered? So here, the, 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 uh, what I mean to say is that what, is, what are the advantages of uh, integration of ICT into teaching learning over the traditional way of uh, teaching where there was uh, no or very less integration of ICT? So can you quickly, anybody, you know, few, I would like to have a few answers on that. Why do we, what, are, what is the advantage of uh, uh, using ICT into teaching learning over the traditional way? I mean, the non-ICT integration, anybody? Quickly, if I can get some answers. In the traditional way, madam, in the traditional way, we uh, use a lecture method. Mm, okay. That is not, sometimes it is not suitable for the children. But okay. uh, uh, the technology we are using uh, in the lessons, uh, uh, we are uh, showing videos, uh, then only they can understand easily the concept of the subject. Okay, so that means better that understanding, one. right? Better understanding. Okay. Yes, better. Understanding. Yes, yeah. like uh, uh, to teach history, uh, when we are going to teach history to the students, they're getting, they get bored. Right. So if we will use uh, the, uh, the help of technology like videos, then they will uh, get more interest, ma'am. Right. So uh, it makes the uh, topic more interesting, right? Two points. Uh, any, anybody else? And some, to add something? Yes, sir. And some things we cannot be bring to the classroom. That's why we can easily, like the universe. Right, right. Exactly. With the videos and right, you can. Right. Right. So things that are not, uh, uh, it's not possible to bring to classroom or show them uh, at that moment. So can be done with the help of ICT. Good. Yes. Yes. Three points. Anybody else? Anything comes in mind apart from all these, these uh, advantages? Sir, your voice is breaking. We could not get anything. What you said, maybe because of network issue. Can you again uh, say what your point? Okay, so let's start. I mean, uh, all these points are very valid and very true. It makes the uh, it is uh, it can be used for better understanding. It, it can make the topic more interesting and some things we cannot bring to classroom 
or show it at that time we can show it with the help of uh, uh, you know ict for example universe so similarly another point is that uh, some things have a very long time span some uh, phenomena some things processes that occur for example uh, 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 soil erosion may be you know, gradual or uh, disintegration of rocks or formation of soil or for example change of you know climatic conditions or climate change or for example flowering of plant we cannot see you know quickly with the help of our eyes because it takes lots of time to you know and when it flowers we don't even know so ex the exact process of flowering of plant or you know formation of soil or for that matter uh, you know uh, some historical event that happened you know long back or that is gradually happening or change of uh, 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 or, or maybe urbanization process or deforestation process or maybe uh, mm, mm, you know a change of cropping pattern or land utilization land use uh, all these things you know uh, these are not very they, 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 they are not possible to show in a quick span of time of our lifetime sometimes uh, like you know climate change and all those things are not possible to demonstrate or show in a in a human's lifespan so uh, so sometimes uh, or soil formation of soil etc so it is uh, easier for us to uh, use ict and make the children or make the learners understand about concepts like this and uh, the fifth point i would like to say is that there are certain topics that are little sensitive topics especially in case of social sciences for example a uh, dowry system gender biasness or uh, you know uh, child abuse sexual harassment all these things uh, these things are not very these are little sensitive topics and these uh, uh, you know it is very difficult for us to make the learner children especially young children understand about all these things so it is always better and easier for us to use ict for making them understand like for example if we are trying to make children understand about child abuse then it will be very difficult it will be little difficult and uh, you know little uh, 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 not very maybe comfortable for us to make them understand so maybe we can use some animated videos or some comic book comic strip kind of thing uh, to show them about personal safety and all these things then personal hygiene also all these things are a uh, little sensitive and little, little you know Uh, can be little embarrassing for the children for the minds of children it, it can be you know if we are doing it in a, a normal man in another man i mean physically it will be difficult for them for us also to uh, make them understand and not very comfortable for them to you know take uh, all these things in that manner so in that case we can use ict and we can uh, solve the, the this the purpose can be solved in that manner so what we have covered now conceptualization is important as i told you uh, can you see the changed slide now i am switching to why yes yes ma'am ha huh, okay uh, then uh, then second question is why so why, why do we need the need and purpose of uh, integration of ict so here uh, as i said that advantages of uh, uh, it over the traditional way of uh, teaching learning has to be kept in mind the, the five points that we dealt with that is uh, important then a uh, third question is for whom so it is very important to understand the target group the age group of the st uh, students or the uh, place where they belong to or uh, uh, their linguistic background their socio economic background etc because if we are trying to make something you know some topic understood by a group of children and that group of children is of maybe you know uh, young i mean primary stage or uh, the foundational stage so the way of dealing with the content will be little different from what or uh, from the way we will be dealing it with the you know higher stages children learners of the higher stages so for for the younger uh, learners we can use story you know animations and all sorts of things so so pedagogy should be uh, uh, should be different and it should be story based you know fun based kind of thing and the amount of information to be delivered uh, in a particular video or in a particular uh, e content uh, it will be little lesser i mean the amount of information given 
and as we grow high as we go higher in the stages educational stages the amount of information given in the uh, to the learner will be more so this way it has to be the target group or suppose we are creating an e content or hame uh, suppose i asked you people that you are from which states so i should be bilingual or i should be all hindi or all english you know so so suppose uh, you understand uh, uh, these languages suppose i start talking in bangla so what will happen you won't be able to understand right despite my all effort you won't be able to understand whatever i am trying to say or i am trying to convey or the information that i am trying to give to deliver so it is very important to understand the target group the stage of the learner or the age group the linguistic background of the learner the uh, area to which they belong to for example if i have created an e content or in trying to integrate some ict uh, into my teaching learning process and i am showing something from foreign country so the indian students won't be able to relate to some examples all the examples i'm giving or all the videos i'm showing of some foreign country so they cannot relate to their the their, their themselves and their environment so it is very important uh, to you know uh, include such things that uh, are uh, familiar with the learners or the target audience then the subject is also very important okay how or the area or the topic of uh, that we are going to uh, give on uh, the uh, create e content on or integrate icit into it then okay so we have gone through all the three questions now how to do it so what type of resources or the e content we are going to utilize and then the tools that we can use for creating such uh, e content or for integration of icit into teaching learning process especially with reference to social sciences so uh, we will be dealing with all these questions all these four questions from time to time and in a, in, a, in an integrated manner throughout my session and through the presentation also so uh, uh, now uh, mm, when we talk about integration of technology or et or ict into teaching learning of any subject so this is the tpack model that we usually uh, refer to and this is the commonly used model and it says that uh, describes the kind of knowledge required by teachers uh, for successful integration of technology in teaching so what is this knowledge so there uh, has to be three types of knowledge that uh, is required to be uh, uh, to be there in a teacher uh, for example suppose uh, uh, right now i am i am giving a session i am taking i am taking a session so suppose i am trying to uh, create a uh, an e content so i should have some knowledge about techno technology then some knowledge about uh, you know content same some knowledge about the pedagogy so te for technological knowledge it, we need not be it professionals right so we just need to create some you know audio video some you know diagrams and how to uh, record an audio or you know all these things a few things we need to uh, need to understand or we have the skill of it then uh, content knowledge because we are sub we will be subject uh, from we, we we are trained in particular subjects so the content knowledge has to be there and then pedagogical knowledge that means how we are going to deliver the content so how we are going to deal with that particular topic so these the knowledge of these three things are very important uh, in the uh, for integration of technology into teaching learning and et and ict or content creation now uh, while we talk about e content time and again it is very important to understand what uh, these are the, what are e content so anything any content in electronic form is e content so it can be e text image uh, e image or matlab basically and e graph e chart map diagram audio video interactive infographics anything you know just in the form of uh, electronic form so anything in electronic form can be Uh, e content so these are some of the examples this is a mind map and uh, these are some of the examples of uh, e content that you can uh, create or you are expected to create for in integration of ict and for creation of e content so uh, now this is one of the examples of uh, e content uh, and also the presentation that i am showing it to you is also a form of e content so uh, this example that is uh, being shown on your screen is a uh, is shows the importance of himalayas this is an infographic in infographic created with the help of easel.ly that is a, a tool to create 
uh, infographics and uh, this is about importance of himalaya so instead of uh, uh, listing down the importance of himalayas uh, in bullet points or in a paragraph i have just created an infographic uh, for that and it shows first uh, importance is climatic influence then it is source of river uh, so source of rivers and water then fertile soil it is source of fertile soil then uh, it is source of hydroelectricity then uh, ecology and forest wealth it is a source of ecology and forest wealth then it's a house of a storehouse of minerals and it also caters to the uh, it also uh, leads to tourism and pilgrimage etc so this is a form of e content uh, infographic and uh, this is just to show the importance of himalaya so uh, uh, it 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 looks more interesting than you know uh, showing the text simple text in a paragraph form or uh, bullet form bullet points uh, now uh, this is the uh this is the adi model and this is uh, now we have we have we have dealt with the four questions then we dealt with what is what is uh, uh, e content then with the uh, then what qualities what uh, characteristics the uh, teacher or the creator of e content should have with the help of that uh, uh, tpath model then types of e content uh, we have uh, seen now coming to uh, development of e content so this is the model we generally use or th that is generally popularly used by people for creating e content or development of e content and that uh, uh, is a d d i e many of you must be knowing it and ad stands for a a stands stands for analysis then design then development then implementation and then evaluation so all these uh, uh, five uh, stages you can call are important for creation of any uh, uh, e content so uh, by analysis it means we, uh, the needs and requirements should be and the participants current capacity capabilities need to be analyzed then uh, learning objectives and delivery format etc etc is to be designed a, a framework has to be designed then uh, actual creation of or development of uh, e content is there then implementation is there and then evaluations is there for example i generally give this example that right now i am i have created this e content that is a presentation and i am like now i am showing it to you so i analyzed uh, i thought that preparing the uh, presentation in english medium english will be more suitable because it can be understood by a large uh, uh, target audience and then uh, i designed i thought how to go about what all things to be included in the presentation and then i have developed this presentation then i'm implementing it right now and i'm in, in my session i'm uh, showing it to you people and i'm delivering my lecture with the help of this uh, presentation so i'm implementing it and uh, maybe i'll ask few questions or uh, the coordinator will uh, share you a uh, few questions with you and on the basis of that Uh, on the basis of this presentation and then you will be evaluated accordingly or i'll ask you at the end so will you have you be, been able to i hope you have been able to understand the things or somebody will ask me some question so uh, you know uh, uh, by this way i will evaluate uh, my presentation or my content that i have e content that i have developed from uh, with the help of your feedback right so i hope uh, this ad model is clear to you quickly i can can i get some responses okay so uh, uh, next we will be uh, switching to hmm. now the subject specific tools uh, that has uh, uh, social sciences these are some of the this is a list of some of the tools that i have been using and i have explored there are lots of there can be lots of other tools also which some of you must have explored and i have not listed here so you can use any anything these are some of the uh, tools that i have been using uh, and i have explored some of uh, these are also fast tools that is free and open source software so uh, we you do not they are copyright free they can, you can modify according to your wish 
uh, your requirements. So uh, one is Bhuvan. Uh, this is a indigenous, indigenously developed geo portal by ISRO, and it has uh, it is a storehouse of lots of data, government data, and uh, basically all, all from uh, India itself. So generally, what happens? We do not get uh, data and related, uh, you know, maps, etc., from uh, related to our own country. But so th therefore, it has been developed uh, to cater to this need. And uh, you have lots of data, government data related to forest, related to climate, related to you know flood forecast, warning, related to uh, archaeological sites, related to uh, you know soil type, land use. So many things are there. Population. Uh, then agriculture, you know, lots of things. You when once I'll just show you the screen so short, and if the time permits, we can also explore it quickly. Uh, the this portal, so you can explore this, and you have lots of data. You can have ready maps from this uh, uh, website, and you can you can also have three uh, D rotating globe, and then you can zoom in, zoom out till street level on two D and three D form in this uh, on this portal then you have marble kd so kd is the community that uh, uh, designs uh, free and open source software so marble is the tool and this is again free and open source software and uh, you can create maps so like bhuvan you can also create map on this you can go to street level uh, street uh, go on zooming 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 till street level and you have various features in that i'll quickly go through the uh, screenshots that i have uh, prepared for you kept it here in the presentation. Then you have Google Earth. Some of we must have explored it and using it. Uh, you can zoom out till the street level again. You can create maps. You can uh, see beautiful pictures, beautiful, beautiful already developed videos on this uh, Google Earth. Then you have QGIS again for map making, distance calculation and all those things, free and open source software. Then you have Trophy. In Trophy, it's basically an online, uh, photo library kind of thing you can uh, store all your photographs here archive but i mean you know uh, uh, you can get uh, uh, photographs of old scriptures old books etc that are not available now and you can keep it it's a kind of online library to keep your all your photographs related to your research or your teaching learning process then you have windy.com uh, this is an online platform where you can see the real time climatic situations or conditions or the kind of winds blowing, the direction of wind, the speed of wind, then uh, temperature differences, you know, all these climatic features that are there in real time all over the world. You can watch it on there anywhere if there is in cyclonic depression, anti cyclonic depression, jet stream pattern, you know, some hailstorm something anything you can see on this uh, some uh, these climatic features uh, real time then you have stellarium stellarium is uh, as somebody said uh, during the you know uh, in the beginning that you can show the universe uh, uh, in your classroom so with the help of stellarium it is again uh, available on online as well as uh, open source software you can download it download it and use it uh, you can show the uh, real time um, uh, celestial bodies of a place. For example, abhi abhi mein NCRT mein to NCRT ke upper sky jo celestial bodies hain wo kaise hain abhi wahan pe space mein wo mujhe dikh sakta hai, which is otherwise not possible because it's daytime. So hum aise dekh sakte hain stellarium ke help se exactly is location pe. Then you have another tool called Sutori. This is basically very useful for teachers because it gives lesson plans and uh, you know how to go about for a particular topic uh, uh, for different you know stages of uh, school and for different subjects also. So lesson plan milta hai, ideas milte hain ki kaise hum kisi topic ko approach kar sakte hain, kisi topic ko kaise padha sakte hain class mein with the help of Sutori. Then isko bhi use karke isme se ideas leke hum e content create kar sakte hain. Then we have flightradar24.com when we are dealing with the travel and tourism and all those things. Uh, then we use flightradar24.com. We generally use it for our uh, travel purposes. Real time jo, uh, flight ka jo traffic hai wo dikta all over the world. You can see it looks beautiful with all the micro mini, I mean, very small, small aeroplanes are seen on the website moving from here and there. So, where is the traffic? Hai, jo uh, cities in world ke 
वो हैवी ट्रैफिक से डील करते हैं फ्लाइट ट्रैफिक से तो प्लानिंग में और फिर ट्रैवल एंड टूरिज्म से रिलेटेड में उनको सब में हेल्प होती है देन वी हैव गूगल आर्ट्स एंड कल्चर दिस इज वन टूल जो हमारा गूगल ड्राइव होता है जब हम ड्राइव क्लिक क्लिक करते वो सिक्स या नाइन डॉट्स जो होते हैं उसमें उसी में ये एक ऑप्शन आता है गूगल आर्ट्स एंड कल्चर का फिर क्लिक ऑन दैट इसमें बहुत सारे म्यूजियम्स हैं थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री वीडियोज हैं म्यूजियम्स के फोटोग्राफ्स हैं पेंटिंग्स हैं पुराने और पेंटर्स के फोटोग्राफ्स हैं और बहुत सारी चीजें इसमें और आपको मिल जाएंगी कल्चरल एस्पेक्ट से रिलेटेड फेस्टिवल से रिलेटेड बहुत सारी चीजें इसमें ऑलरेडी वीडियोस भी हैं शॉर्ट वीडियोस हैं फोटोग्राफ्स हैं सो दीज आर ऑलरेडी देयर यू कैन यूज देम फॉर योर पर्पस क्लासरूम टीचिंग में और क्रिएट क्रिएट करने के लिए सपोज फॉर एग्जाम्पल हम फॉर uh, एग्जाम्पल जब हम हिस्ट्री में पढ़ाते हैं सोशोलॉजी वगैरह में एक पर्टिकुलर टाइम का कल्चर के बारे में बात करते हैं तो वी कैन यूज द फोटोग्राफ्स टू शो कि पुराने जमाने के पिक्चर्स तो है नहीं तो पेंटिंग्स बनाते थे लोग लाइक माइन का बाइक एंजलो की है फिर इंडिया में भी राजा रवि वर्मा की पेंटिंग से वॉज अ वेरी गुड पेंटर ऑल्सो तो उनकी पेंटिंग्स है सो दे यूज टू डिपेक्ट उस समय का कल्चर ऑफ दैट फर्स्ट प्लेस इंडियन कल्चर या उस पर्टिकुलर एरिया का कल्चर का शो करता है द क्लोथ द यू नो द वे द पीपल यूज टू लिव और ये सब सारी चीजें तो वो हम दिखा के एंड वी कैन क्रिएट अरेशन डाल के आगे पीछे और या पिक्चर बुक के फॉर्म में हम उनको बस वॉइस ओवर रहेगा ऑडियो डाल के एंड वी कैन क्रिएट अ न्यू कंटेंट वीडियो कंटेंट भी बना सकते हैं फोटोग्राफ्स फोटोग्राफ्स डाल के और पीछे बस हमारा ऑडियो वॉइस ओवर रहेगा ऑडियो रिकॉर्ड करके हम उसमें नरेशन के फॉर्म में डाल सकते हैं तो ये सब जो चीजें हैं ये, ये इस तरीके से हम ई कंटेंट बना सकते हैं देन गूगल कार्डबोर्ड है उसमें वर्चुअल रियलिटी जो कहते हैं वी के फॉर्म में Uh, वो रहता है मैं स्क्रीनशॉट शो करूंगी तो आपको वो दिखेगा अच्छे से देन अदर जेनरिक टूल्स जो आपने अभी ऑलरेडी सीखे होंगे लाइक ओडासिटी ओपन शॉट वीडियो एडिटर इजीली कैन एनिमेशन टूल्स एक्सेट्रा ऑल कैन बी यूज फॉर क्रिएटिंग कंटेंट फॉर सोशल साइंसेस आप बस को बस छोटी सी स्क्रिप्ट लिखनी है टॉपिक चूज करना है स्क्रिप्ट लिखनी है एंड उसके बाद ये सारे जो जेनरिक टूल्स हैं वो सब यूज करके आप बना सकते हैं वीडियोज Then you have games also, National Geographic Kids, Geo Guesser, Google Arts and Culture. इन सब पे games जो है वो आप उस तरह के games आप बना सकते हैं या उन सब पे को screen record करके और उनके videos बना सकते हैं e-content के form में Then you have songs also, जैसे example के तौर पर मैंने यहाँ लिखा है माराइस एंड मिरांडा के नेचर सॉन्ग्स हैं बैलेंस ऑफ नेचर हाउस पार्ट्स ऑफ द ट्री एक्सेट्रा तो ये सब सॉन्ग्स हैं अभी भी कुछ चंडीगढ़ की एक टीचर है शी सोशल साइंस टीचर शी हेज क्रिएटिव रिटर्न फ्यू सॉन्ग्स रिलेटेड टू यू नो फ्यू टॉपिक्स ऑफ सोशल साइंसेस तो वो uh, क्या है कि उसी टॉपिक की जो इम्पोर्टेंट चीजें हैं उसको सॉन्ग के फॉर्म में लिख करके और उसको गा के सुना सकते हैं और बहुत सारे हमारे ऐसे लोकल फोक सॉन्ग्स में भी बहुत ऐसे नेचर के बारे में और कल्चर के बारे में या यू uh, नो you know, uh, उनके जो वेलर होते हैं जो लोकल जो हमारे राजा महाराजा जो थे किंग्स क्वींस उनके बारे में कुछ बड़ी अच्छी अच्छी चीजें ऐसे पोएम ये लोकल फोक सॉन्ग्स के फॉर्म में है या सॉन्ग्स के फॉर्म में तो वो सब वी कैन यूज इट फॉर टीच आर टीचिंग लर्निंग प्रोसेस हम लोग भी लिख सकते हैं ऐसे कुछ सॉन्ग्स रिलेटेड टू आर टॉपिक एंड यूज दम एज ई कंटेंट फॉर क्रिएटिंग फॉर क्रिएटिंग ई कंटेंट एंड फॉर डिस्टर्मिनेशन ऑल्सो दिस इज द स्क्रीन शॉट आई क्विकली गो थ्रू ये जैसे भुवन का मैं बता रही थी कि इफ यू ओपन यू टाइप भुवन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म विल गेट ओपन एंड देन दिस टू डी थ्री डी देन आर्काइवल डेटा इज ऑल्सो देयर क्लाइमेटिक एंड एनवायरमेंट देन यू हैव ई गवर्नेंस टूरिज्म अर्बन रूरल देन यू हैव क्लाइमेटिक सर्विसेज थीम बेस्ड मैप्स आर हियर देन ओशन सर्विसेज ओशन रिलेटेड डेटा इज देयर डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट रिलेटेड डेटा यू कैन क्रिएट अ मैप सेंट्रल मिनिस्ट्रीज के जो स्कीम्स है उनका डेटा है स्पेशल एप्लीकेशन में कुछ कुछ फोटोग्राफ्स वगैरह आपको दिखेंगे इसमें आपको वो भी सैटेलाइट इमेजरीज भी मिल जाएंगी देन ई गवर्नेंस डैशबोर्ड ई गवर्नेंस से रिलेटेड जितना डेटा है आपको वो मिल जाएगा स्टेट वाइज एप्लीकेशन में स्टेट से रिलेटेड पर्टिकुलर स्टेट से रिलेटेड जो गवर्नमेंट का डेटा है वो सब आपको इसमें अवेलेबल है देन दिस इज द स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ मार्बल मार्बल क्या इसमें आप इंस्टॉल कर सकते हैं ये डिफरेंट आई ओ एस में कर सकते हैं लिनक्स में कर सकते हैं और किसी और चीज में भी आप विंडोज में भी कर सकते हैं देन आप भी डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं इसका दीज आर समीचर्स दैट मार्बल हैज 
एक तो इसमें एटलस है नॉर्मल देन ओपन स्ट्रीट मैप है सैटेलाइट व्यू मैप है देन बेहम ग्लोब फोर्टीन नाइनटी टू का है सो वेन यू आर टीचिंग कंटेंट ऑफ दिस टाइम यू कैन ओपन इट डायरेक्टली एंड शो इट टू देम और यू कैन स्क्रीन रिकॉर्ड आप इसको खोल के और यू नो एक्सप्लोर करते करते और आप स्क्रीन रिकॉर्डिंग कर सकते हैं स्क्रीन रिकॉर्डिंग करके सिस्टम का और उसके बाद फिर आप इसका वीडियो बना सकते हैं सो यू कैन इट कैन बी प्लेड एनी टाइम इवन इफ देर इज नो इंटरनेट कनेक्शन देन ऑल्सो देन अर्थ एट नाइट एंड हिस्टोरिकल मैप ऑफ सिक्सटीन एटी नाइन प्लेन मैप पोलिटिकल मैप ये सब सारे फीचर्स जो हैं वो आपको मिल जाएंगे मार्बल में देन यू हैव दिस गूगल अर्थ एज आई वॉज टेलिंग एंड दिस आर सम ऑफ द फीचर्स दैट वी हैव इन गूगल अर्थ आप इसको जूम इन जूम आउट करके रोटेट करके दिखा सकते हैं थ्री डी है टू डी है ये सब चीजें दिखा सकते हैं स्टूडेंट्स को और इसका वीडियो वही मैं कह रही थी वीडियो बना सकते हैं स्क्रीन रिकॉर्ड करके विथ नरेशन या टॉपिक आप जो जो भी चूज कर रहे हैं उसको लेके और एक स्क्रिप्ट लिख लीजिए स्क्रिप्ट में जो भी आपको बोलना है ऑडियो और साथ में ये दिखाते रहेंगे और इसका एक स्क्रीन रिकॉर्डिंग करके एक वीडियो बन सकता है आराम से अब वॉयजर जो ऑप्शन था जैसे यहाँ पे ये वॉयजर जो मैंने दिखाया वॉयजर ऑप्शन में अगर आप क्लिक करेंगे तो ये कुछ फीचर्स उसमें आते हैं थ्री डी इमेजरी इन गूगल अर्थ और कुछ कुछ और इसमें नेचर से रिलेटेड जैसे आप नेचर पे क्लिक करेंगे तो नेचर से रिलेटेड बहुत सारे ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टिंग आपको फोटोग्राफ्स हैं वीडियोज हैं शॉर्ट क्लिपिंग्स हैं वो सब आपको इसमें मिल जाएंगी देन गेम्स है लेस देन स्ट्रीट व्यू कल्चर एज आई टोल्ड यू कल्चर से रिलेटेड बहुत पेंटिंग्स एक्सेट्रा वो सब सारी चीजें ट्रैवल से रिलेटेड है एजुकेशन से रिलेटेड बहुत सारे आपको ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टिंग मिल जाएंगे यू कैन टेक इट फ्रॉम यूर एंड देन आप उसको यूज कर सकते हैं फॉर क्रिएटिंग योर ओन ई कंटेंट देन दिस इज क्यू जी आई इसमें अगेन मैप्स बना सकते हैं उसको भी बना के आप ई कंटेंट मतलब एनी थिंग कैन बी एनी थिंग राइट मैप टेक्स्ट एनी थिंग ऑडियो वीडियो एनी थिंग देन यू हैव ट्रोफी ये उसका ऐसे खोलने पर ऐसे आता है and uh, as it says explore your research photos as me photographs aap uh, uh, store kar sakte hain and it's like a you know, online photo library kind of thing you can store and keep it and then use others also then this is bindi.com jaisa maine bataya tha ki you can see all the climatic features here aur isme uh, wind pattern dekh sakte hain rain thunder temperature cloud humidity ye sab sab kuch isme aap real time dekh sakte hain वर्ल्ड का तो इसको भी आप रिकॉर्ड करके रख सकते हैं यू कैन यूज इट फॉर योर ओन यू नो क्रिएटिंग योर ई कंटेंट देन स्टेलैरियम एज आई सेट यू कैन डाउनलोड इट एंड यूज इट आल्सो रियल टाइम जो दिखता है उसमें अभी सेलेस्टियल बॉडीज अभी क्या कौन से हेवनली बॉडीज दिख रहे हैं या सेलेस्टियल बॉडीज अभी इस जगह पे वो आप देख सकते हैं वर्चुअली देन सुटोरी एज आई टोल्ड यू इसमें लेसन प्लान हैं बहुत सारे यू कैन टेक द आइडियाज एंड क्रिएट योर ओन ई कंटेंट Then flightradar.com, 24.com जैसे मैंने बताया था इसमें फ्लाइट ट्रैफिक दिखता है और येलो येलो जो दिख रहे हैं वो सारे फ्लाइट है प्लेन का लोकेशन है ये सारा देन दिस इज गूगल आर्ट्स एंड कल्चर एज आई टोल्ड यू की गूगल जब हम uh, अपना ड्राइव खोलते हैं तो यहाँ पे हमारे नाइन uh, डॉट्स होते हैं उन पर क्लिक करने पर ये सारे जो है ये ड्रॉप डाउन ऐसे विंडो आएगा उसमें बहुत सारे और भी आपको फीचर्स uh, या एप्स दिख जाएंगे वन इज गूगल आर्ट एंड कल्चर हैंग आउट है की जैम बोर्ड क्लास रूम गूगल अर्थ कलेक्शन गूगल एड्स पॉडकास्ट ये सब है उसमें और उसमें आर्ट्स एंड कल्चर भी है वेन यू क्लिक ऑन दिस जैसे आप देख सकते हैं इसमें आर्ट कैमरा थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री वीडियो स्ट्रीट व्यू आर्टिस्ट मीडियम्स आर्ट मूवमेंट्स हिस्टोरिक इवेंट्स हिस्टोरिकल फिगर्स ये सब इसमें आपको फोटोग्राफ्स मिल जाएंगे एंड वीडियोज वगैरह मिल जाएंगे सो यू कैन यूज ऑल दीज थिंग्स एंड क्रिएट योर ओन ई कंटेंट a uh, beautiful pictures you can get very rich uh, things then this is google cardboard jaisa maine bataya cardboard ek hota hai you can order amazon pe bhi milta hai aur virtual reality ki jaise headsets aate hain to sabse pehle ye aaya tha google ne introduce kiya tha aur isme ek aisa lens laga hota hai aur apna mobile wo karke usme app download karke and you can uh, use that for virtual reality immersive feeling jisko kehte hain uh, wo feeling ke liye aap isko use kar sakte hain now we have this all those sets that are there तो सबसे पहले ये आया था गूगल कार्ड बोर्ड इकोनॉमिकल जो ऐसे कह सकते हैं ऑप्शन था वर्चुअल रियलिटी की फीलिंग का देन जैसे मैंने कहा नेशनल जोग्राफिक किट्स जो है इसमें बहुत सारे गेम्स हैं आप यू कैन एक्सप्लोर और उसके उसी के बेसिस पे यू कैन क्रिएट योर ओन गेम्स देन उसके बाद 
देन यू हैव दिस जियो गैसर दिस इज ऑल्सो जोग्राफी से रिलेटेड गैस इसमें क्विजेज हैं जो आपको आप उसी तरह के क्विजेज अपने से भी बना सकते हैं देन यू हैव गूगल आर्ट्स एंड कल्चर में ही है गेम्स का है उसमें एक्सप्लोर करने का तो उसमें आप जाएंगे तो गूगल आर्ट्स एंड कल्चर में तो होम पेज पे ही आपको ऊपर भी दिखाई देगा गेम्स ये बहुत सारे गेम्स हैं तो यू कैन एक्सप्लोर और ऐसे ही गेम्स आप डेवलप कर सकते हैं अपने टॉपिक से रिलेटेड अपने सब्जेक्ट से रिलेटेड नाउ दीज आरस्टेड रेफरेंसेज दैट वी है एनसीआरटी ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल पे बहुत सारे ऐसे वेबिनार सेशन में बहुत सारे टूल्स इंट्रोड्यूस किए हिंदी और इंग्लिश दोनों में आप इन सब में से यही जो मैंने टूल्स कुछ कुछ बताया वो इसमें इनमें भी है तो यू कैन यूज दिस देन ये कुछ सजेस्टेड रीडिंग्स हैं दैट आर देयर तो बहुत सारे और भी हैं एक तो मैंने बस ऐसे डाल दिया है एक मेरा ही है पब्लिश जो मैंने किया था पेपर ऑनलाइन तो वो भी है इसमें ऑप्शन के तौर पे यू कैन गो एंड रेफर टू दू कैन रीड ऑल दीज थिंग्स और भी बहुत सारे पेपर्स हैं यू कैन रेफर टू ऑल दो थिंग्स फॉर यू नो अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ टू इंटीग्रेट हाउ टू क्रिएट ई कंटेंट और उसका थियोरेटिकल बैकग्राउंड क्या है कौन कौन से टूल्स हैं ये सब करके so uh it is was about the presentation that i uh, had to present i hope i have shared the presentation with your uh, organizers and co coordinators you can take it from them no issues in that uh now i will quickly go through uh can i get a quick response i mean feedback from all of you kuch samajh mein aa rahi aayi baat was it okay yes. acha i'll quickly go through some of the things that i have talked about you can see my screen right yes yes ma'am mm -hmm. i'm quickly i just wrote type bhuvan and this the first one that option comes this is the bhuvan portal that i was talking about and see it's written indian geo for platform of isro and developed by uh, nrsc uh, nrsc in collaboration with government of india and uh, these are some of the things that i was showing you uh, 2d bhuvan uh, it i have clicked on 2d bhuvan another window gets open and i can zoom it and zoom out and uh, you can take a screenshot you can record the uh, screen recording se ye video bana sakte hain uh, ye sab satellite imagery hai Uh, see how it looks like from the you know satellite then uh, hybrid mode mein kaisa dikhega both the things i mean the satellite imagery and the map ke form mein terrain kaisa dikhta hai you know all these things we can more mein hum ja ke explore kar sakte hain what all things are there so uh, this is one way of uh, then 3d 3d form mein aise uh, globe hai aap उसको जूम इन जूम आउट करके दिखा सकते हैं नथिंग रोटेटेड एंड दिस इंडिकेट्स द एटमॉस्फेयर द वाइट कवरिंग देन यू कैन जूम इन जूम आउट 3D मॉडल्स आर देयर सम टूल्स आर देयर यू नो 3D मॉडल्स कैन बी शोन सीन फॉर सम ऑफ द ऑलरेडी डेवलप्ड 3D मॉडल्स आर एम्बेडेड इन दिस मैप सो यू कैन एक्सप्लोर दैट ये सब लेयर्स डाल के कुछ कुछ एक्सपेरिमेंट कर सकते हैं आई विल जस्ट क्विकली गो थ्रू इसमें टूरिज्म से रिलेटेड जो है उस पर सपोज आई क्लिक ऑन आर्कियोलॉजी आई कैन सी ऑल द आर्कियोलॉजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया ऑल द मॉन्यूमेंट्स आइडेंटिफाइड बाई आर्कियोलॉजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया आई कैन क्लिक ऑन एनी ऑफ दिस एंड यू नो क्विक फोटोग्राफ एंड लिटिल बिट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इज देर सो यू कैन एक्सप्लोर कभी कभी हमें खुद ही पता नहीं होता हमारी लोकेलिटी में कुछ आर्कियोलॉजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया से आइडेंटिफाइड कुछ मॉन्यूमेंट है और यू नो Uh, important uh, monument here we are not aware of it so we will be able to explore it with the help of this uh, in sab ko screen record kar sakte hain inke features nikal ke aap ek e content bana sakte hain information nikal ke then ye slider mein aur bhi bahut sare options hain you can explore then you have ye sab main bata rahi thi aapko options jo hain in sab mein ja ke isme bhi bahut sare options hain theek hai time lapse wagaira sab isme bahut sari cheeze hain uh, you know you can explore then state wise portal hai uh, then i'll quickly open portal for the madam can can we use uh, in our videos is it free yes sir you can definitely use it government ka hai ye freely available hai for using it 
कहीं से आप बस उसमें सोर्स डाल दीजिएगा कि सोर्स फ्रॉम दिस अदरवाइज यू कैन ऑल यूज इट वूवन से तो आप बिल्कुल यूज कर सकते हैं ठीक है वी यूज फॉर डिफरेंट डेटा मैप वगैरह बनाने के लिए डेटा फ्रॉम यूर अब ये जो है स्टेलियम वेब पे मैं क्लिक कर रही हूँ I'm no, I have no intentions of downloading it right now. Uh, now we have this. अभी मैंने एन सी आर टी यहाँ पे दिखा रहा है सो एन सी आर टी में के ऊपर जो स्काई है वो ऐसा दिखेगा दो इट्स मॉर्निंग आई मीन आफ्टरनून वी के नॉट सी इट अदरवाइज तो इसमें दिख जाएगा सपोज आई क्लिक ऑन कॉन्स्टलेशन वी हार्डली गेट टू सी कॉन्स्टलेशन ये वर्चुअल रियालिटी के फॉर्म में आपको ये दिख जाएगा Uh, इस तरीके से एंड वी टॉक अबाउट कॉन्स्टलेशन आर्ट एंड बच्चों को हम पढ़ाते हैं सो यू सी हाउ ब्यूटिफुल इट इज लुकिंग तो कि बिकम्स अ शेप ऑफ हर क्यूलियस और कौन कौन से जितने भी कॉन्स्टलेशन उनका क्या शेप होता है यू नो लायन का शेप है या ह्यूमन बींग का शेप है ये सब ये देखिए सैटेलाइट भी दिख रहा है मूवी कैन यू सी दैटेलाइट मूविंग सैटेलाइट सी यस मैम दिस इज द मूविंग सैटेलाइट अरे वाह What are these? I don't know. I'll have to see. What are these? Wow. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so I clicked on landscape. So landscape was being shown. If I unclick it, then I can only see the sky. What satellite is this? Starlink four seven nine one. This is four seven seven five. This is Starling five zero one five. This is Messier thirty three. Okay. So we could see all this spiral galaxy. I can see here M thirty three spiral galaxy. Okay. So you click on any of the thing, they will show you. You know about detail about the. This is a red super giant star here. So you can you know get an information about that lat long everything you know distance magnitude everything you can see on this it's a beautiful thing deep sky objects can also be seen deep sky means the, the those that are very far off from our, our night mode you can see in this manner so this is some one of the wonderful tools It's really that amazing. we have yeah I could first of first time I could see the satellite what is this I don't know the moving things behind the satellites. cat high proper motion star okay okay theek hai so this is stellarium uh then uske baad uh, i was talking about uh, sutori sutori mein see this is uh, uh, for social studies teachers You have various features. Uh, you can explore, see perfect for history, geography, and sociology. Uh, visit gallery. You can, you know, for teachers, for schools, media literacy, pricing, pricing. So you don't need to subscribe for that. The free things that we can get. I am just, uh, uh, you know, just see so many options we have for units, unit wise. Okay, so you can explore, get lesson plans and ideas how to. Uh, create an e content also but is it uh, all are uh, uh, free uh, some of the features free are free sir free. For some of the features are free so i'm okay. just talking about the others if you want you can subscribe to it otherwise this free so some features are free so you can use that uh, then you have uh, is it possible to download and uh, use uh, for example some, ppt some some, like some are online so you can uh, just see or okay uh, you can just explore few things can be downloadable also but yes uh, i would suggest you not to use, utilize the same ppt in the same same manner you can design, design your own ppt taking okay. the, uh, ideas from there right not okay. to get into any copyright thank you thank you uh, uh, this is windy.com as i was telling you uh, the real time movement of winds the speed you know all the features climatic features real time 
right just just look for some cyclonic depression no i am not being a sadistic but i am just trying to find out if you see here you can see you know the winds are converging can you see so when we are trying to make children understand about you know temperature difference and how uh, winds from high pressure area move to low pressure area in a circular yes, manner pressure, eh? yeah low right pressure. so we can show them these white lines are winds blowing in a particular direction so when we are teaching them you can screen record this and you can show this to your students otherwise you can if you have internet access you can use it in your classroom uh then you have uh, temperature so when we teach them that temperature is uh, when it is uh, you see near the equator it's warmer and as we move to polar areas it's colder right so temperature uh, uh, legend is here degree centigrade minus 20 to 40 degree and higher okay so we can show it to them the temperature difference you know in this manner then uh, uh, what else uh, we have uh, this google art and culture okay i'll show it to you this is my email id i'm opening my drive i've clicked on these dots then uh, in my drive where is it let's see google arts and culture i've clicked on that let's see explore create learn then hang on masterpiece at home today's topics then you know so lots of the today's topic to this topic is renesa so you can you can get all these things related to renesa uh use these videos etc recommended for you uh, see paintings are there and revolts about revolts paintings etc photograph step inside step into the light gallery uh, then you have uh, uh, you know philippines discover museums in the philippines more collections you know so all sorts of things are there sacred places then i click on see explore see all the quad categories that i showed you in the screenshot right all these art movement historic fetch sort of figures time color uh, themes we have we have collections of you know museums etc then weekly highlights popular topics you know so many things related to history sociology etc political science and all play if you click on play you have lots of games here geo art work blob opera you know you can get some ideas from 3d pottery puzzle party all these things then play with music explore the world test your knowledge all these things are there nearby we have lots of features in it okay till the point it is opening i can click on some other uh, what else did i uh, say trophy mm. okay. Okay. If I click on trophy, the trophies will come. No, this is something else, right? Oh, it is coming. Trophy with a slide software. Mm, okay, this one. Explore your research photograph. So this is a user guide is there. Then you can explore, see all the uh, photographs you can uh, keep and metadata is available there. Organize your research, how to go annotate your photographs, you know, all these things are there. You can explore and utilize it for uh, your own uh, you know kind of a uh, photo library kind of thing then you have a uh, flight radar24.com see uh
so uh, this is uh, i was telling you that it is very uh, interesting to see we all use it okay sorry i do not have the privilege of removing the ads unless i subscribe to it so i can zoom in zoom out and then i can search for you know, time to time it will get changed you can also get the names of the flights also flight numbers see it's moving gradually after some time you'll see the things moving see the traffic flight traffic here so when we are planning when we are uh, talking about travel and tourism we can you know refer to all these uh, things and uh, see the flights got moved see it's moving so we uh, when we are uh, studying urban planning or travel and tourism and planning for any area so we can uh, utilize this and show it uh, for creating any e content so this was uh, this will also have few other features mm -hmm. i say if you want to subscribe and all data history is also there related to if you want to plan something or create any content related to uh, the uh, history i mean the near few in the near past the traffic and all. so you can do that probably if i click on this okay so weather condition can also be seen if i click on the balloons and then it will just show you the nairobi jomo kenyatta international airport some information about it and the weather conditions temperature wind etc of that place and a little uh, you know a picture of the place then what else i was a uh, google earth i wanted to show you some of you must might have explored it it shows some of the photographs already embedded in it a uh, see uh, this is the photograph of urban type settlement in uzbekistan and is an urban type uh, karkal pakistan uh, the name is then uh, more info you can uh, it will take you to wikipedia then you can close it similarly you can see lots of photographs suppose i'm clicking on this this is some minded to open completely i wanted to have some no information about this place somebody has uploaded a photograph without the information here probably oh yes ha huh? so you can also add photograph if it have gone to some place you want to uh, you you want to put it you can explore i mean click a photograph and put it here for others you like the one the way we are using others photographs uh, you can rotate the globe and see the photographs i can go to street level in this see it looks like a old channel river channel anyway uh, so lots of features are there that we can explore uh, suppose i want to show the himalayan i'm teaching about himalayan mountain so i want to show them something of uh, uh, about it so i can uh, see how the fold mountains look like how the mountains look like i can show it to them uh i will be interesting to show you uh wait it looks beautiful i will just show you uh kailash mansarovar see
This is 2D, 3D. This is Kailar Mansarova Lake. This is the Kailash Mount Peak. Or maybe I can search for it. How beautiful it looks. It is known as some other peak in China. See, you can, you can show it to your students. You can create a video out of it. And in geography, we also learn, you know, glaciers, cirques, and different features, mountainous features. We can, you can make a video out of it and explore it and create an e-content probably of this. There are so many photographs on different peaks. Achha, okay, so coming to the options that we have, we have Voyager. And in Voyager, we have these features. Sea level rise and fate of coastal cities. If I click on this, I'll get something. I'll just show you some of the features. Uh, that this was I was talking about games, layers, cheat view, culture, travel, education. So these are some of the uh, you know features already existing e content that we have. We can utilize all these e content. Just give the reference and then you can use it. Uh, then frozen lakes. Then you have you know wildlife. All those things. National parks of the United States. Mapping of London's air pollution. Then you have Mars on Mars uh, on Earth. Then visit Yellowstone National Park. Then you, you know all these things can be seen. Landforms from space, how they look like ice and snow from space. Then you have sea level rise and uh, fate of coastal cities. Then you have national wonders, wildlife, various things. Then you have uh, Earth at night. Uh, then you have. Uh, the day the dinosaur died, something on this. Uh, reading the ABCs from space. Then Grand Canyon National Park. Then you have driven uh, on the front lines of conservation. Interesting topic. Then uh, you have a visit. Visit. Then you have uh, you know, beautiful pictures are there. And even videos, short clippings, videos are there. You can utilize those videos. Uh, 10,000 years of volcanoes are also there. Waterways from space, how do they look like? Then what is this? Be a scientist with your smartphone. Okay, uh, even I need to explore that. So we will be going back to the uh, you know main room in another almost 50 seconds. Do you have any questions? Anybody has any questions? No, madam. It's very wonderful, madam. It's actually, it's amazing, madam. Very, very thanks. Okay, thank you. Very, very thank you, thank you. Anybody we has to... Ma'am, really amazing. Really wonderful. Uh, we are very happy to uh, learn so many things from you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> These are very new for us, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So lots of things are already existing. You just need to utilize those things and uh, create your own e-content. Just give the uh, source. You, just, you can give the source of the... Uh, place or software from where you are taking the things and then you can go ahead and create your own e-content just add the narration or the voiceover and then you can quickly uh, you can keep on definitely e-content good